Hey guys and welcome to another video and in this video today we are going to take a quick look at how you can connect a PS4 DualShock or Xbox 360 controller to your iPhone or your iPad. You will need an iPhone or an iPad running iOS 13 or iPadOS 13 or higher. The steps are very easy and you only need to do the setup step once. So let's get started. Hey guys and welcome to another new video and in this video today we are going to see how you can pair a PS4 DualShock 4 controller to your iPad or your iPhone. So all you need for this is an iPad that is running iPadOS 13 or an iPhone that is running iOS 13 or higher. So to begin with you need a DualShock 4 controller of PS4 or an Xbox X60 controller. So I just have a PS4 DualShock controller so I'll be using that for this tutorial. So all you need to do is head over into settings and go into the Bluetooth section. You need to turn that on. So once your Bluetooth is turned on, take your PS4 controller and press the PS button and the share button at the same time. So then it will go into pairing mode and it will show up over here. As you can see it shows a Bluetooth pairing request. So I'll just go ahead and click on pair. So once you have done that, as you can see, your PS4 color will change into red showing that it is connected and as you can see on the iPad over there it now shows it is connected. So the next thing that we'll do is move over to our iPhone. So I just turn off Bluetooth over here. So once you turn off Bluetooth over here as you can see it again turns off. So the next thing we'll do is the same things on the iPhone itself. So we'll just go into iPhone, we'll turn on the Bluetooth and once again we need to pair it so we'll just hold the PS4 or the PS button and the share button over there simultaneously together until you can see the light blink. As you can see over here it has entered into pairs mode. As you can see it shows up DualShock 4 wireless controller over there. So I'll just go over and tap on that. And with that the iPhone is now connected to the PS4 controller. So the next thing we'll see is that once you have them paired with your existing devices what you can do to reconnect them once you want to play a game. So I'll just go over and head over into the iPhone and turn on the Bluetooth and once the Bluetooth is on I'll just press the PlayStation button over there and wait so that it can connect. So as you can see it has now been connected. If you see that if I turn off the Bluetooth over here and turn on the Bluetooth over here and again place the PS button you can wait but it won't be connecting to this iPad. So the problem here is that it remembers the last device you have connected to so it won't connect to the iPhone now it has to wait. So all you can do is that you can just tap on the DualShock 4 wireless controller again and it will automatically connect. And this time it will remember the iPad as the last connected device. So that's pretty much it from this video. Thank you guys for watching till the end of this video and if you found this useful don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends and family who might also need the similar tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more tutorials like this and as always don't forget to leave a comment down below on your thoughts and suggestions on the video and if you have any future video ideas. Once again thank you guys for watching till the end of this video and as always I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.